outside. You got it? Yes, sir. Well, folks, just when you think you've seen it all, you haven't. And this thing is amazing. So, Tyler, what exactly would you call this thing? Well, originally from the factory, this would be a, we'll let's call it 1970 to 79 G. We don't exactly know van. the year because this door says 1983, but it's a different color. The grill says As, one thing. And we think it might be mid 70s, but we didn't want to open the glove box to look for registration because you don't know what somebody's going to leave in their glove box when they drop off their car. But what we do know is it's rad. Super rad. Yeah. And we also know it has KC lights. Daylighters, uh, they're so nice you don't even have to hook them up. Who know? wants to melt the uh, fancy covers? Yeah, nobody on the wants front. to melt the covers, so no. just leave them unhooked. Yep. Push bar, tow hook, chrome tow hook. Now, hold on. Come on over here. Let me show you something. This emblem here, and, and this is what we got to talk about. So, Tyler, what exactly is that? So, this is a K signifying that it's four wheel drive. This was uh, a conversion van done by Pathfinder. Um, we Probably don't know the years exact ago. years. We haven't, uh, you know, we don't have the proper data, but let's say 30 years ago. Uh, so having a four wheel drive van 30 years ago, you were the bee's knees. For sure. And uh, especially if you had those wheels on there. Those are US mag turbine wheels. Uh, and they're in eight lug, which is pretty rare. You don't see that too often. Most of the uh, low rider guys were putting this on their car. If you don't hold that thing absolutely perfectly centered between your legs, laying on the ground, kind of like when you're putting them on, you got to get down like this and you got to <laughs> just get it perfect and then try and get the lug nuts on, you know? A lot of guys don't know how to do that. It's a pain in the butt, but they sure do look good. And obviously those are going to be a 16.5 because that's just how everybody rolled, you know? Selectro Hubs Signature Series by Pathfinder Conversion, right yep. there. So they're calling it a K35 Van Dura because K means four wheel drive and it is four wheel drive. And that's why we're here working on it. So we just built him a new custom inch and a half quarter wall tie rod with Moog tie rod ends and uh, got them all dialed in there because uh, you can't really pull this up in the parts book at Cragen. You know? True, true. And, uh, then we also built him this push-pull drag link right there out of Moog ends as well. And uh, it just came in. Doobie just put new ball joints in the front end. Yep. So and a uh, service on the front. What kind of rear end's in this thing? Factory GM 14 bolt, and it's probably got those crazy van hubs. It in. probably has those van hubs. I bet this thing has the 69-inch wide wheel mount that everybody wants from pick and pull. Um, as you can see, the window has a super secret access case you're out of the vehicle and you need to get to your rolling papers on the dash. Or the Scooby Snacks. Yeah, or the Scooby Snacks. Um, but what you're gonna wanna Scooby do is come, snacks. you're gonna wanna take a look in here. So that right there is what I like to call a 6.0 LS engine and uh, easy access wiring harness. And as you can see, the check engine light was right there when we pulled in. Um, and you know, he's got a few accessories on the dash as you should if you're driving a van. But if you look over there, the passenger door is manual crank and the driver's door is power windows, power door lock. Unfortunately, the window doesn't roll down so it gets a little warm in there. In the winter time, this is amazing. You know, it puts off the heat, uh, you never get cold. Right now when it's 102, it's slightly unbearable to drive it, but. <laughs> a little warm. <laughs> but little you know what? You feel so American driving this thing. It's 120 in there, you're feeling good. Anyway, side pipe with the baloney cut. Not a lot of guys doing the baloney cut no, anymore. No, nope. you know, not many a, pumping them out in front of the rear tire either. No, no, that's a big deal right there. Thing. Yep. Um, you might wanna, we can't get the back doors open, but uh, if you wanna take a peek here, people wonder, what is that, memory foam in the back of that thing? But no. If you look back there, he has a motorcycle uh, front tire rack right there, so you can put his dirt bike in there, high lift jack. Full size tool, turbine. Toolbox, yeah, and a full size spare turbine wheel matching. So this thing is, what do you call this? A rolling restoration. Yes, sir, that's what we would call it, rolling so restoration. It may not be finished, but it is such a nice piece that we could not not show you. Yeah. Had to do a video. Harold, you got a sweet piece of machine. Harold, this is one badass rig. Keep on going. And even if you don't keep restoring it, even where it's at right now, I would drive it every day. 
Let's go for a ride. Sounds good. Does your door open or I gotta open it for you? No, I think we can open it. All right. At least from the outside. Yeah, I can't roll the window down. <clears throat> but it's down just enough. Ooh. She throaty. She sounds healthy, I'll tell you that. But uh, off we go. You're clear, clear on the side. All right. 